One of my favorite experiences on the show was seeing the, the environments we created within our environments in Vancouver, meaning that like the plastic village, it's something that I've never seen before, being able to stack and cram and turn these plastic bottles and the trash of what's been left over 600 years and then transform those into homes and boats and everyday living and, and just taking all these devices that are gonna be around 600 years from now and using them for good. I think the biggest honor is to be able to play someone with low vision or someone who is blind because we have so many casts that are with us that we get to learn from who have low vision or who are blind. To be able to play a character who's a warrior, who's a father, who's everyday life, we get to see and highlight something that has never really happened before. Nice. Good job, dude. Awesome, bro. I think there's been many moments on set where I've looked out and just imagined what it would be like not to have my vision. And then, you know, every day trying hard not to use it. And at the same time, when I'm playing this character, I, I feel sometimes more alive because I'm trying to get rid of that one thing that we use so highly, and it just enhances my other senses. And I feel like when you're playing it, you're very much um, sensitive and vulnerable and in touch with everything. So it really makes you like an ultimate warrior in a way. You're not blinded by your vision. So we will be fine. Bye, everyone. Right. Yeah. Catch up tomorrow. Okay, let's stay the course now. Stay the course. Archie it is. Archie.